Hello everyone and welcome back to Neoberg. Wow, 100 episodes down and we're still going strong. Um, so this is episode 101, um, the first one after doing 100 episodes. It's a momentous occasion. I'm very proud to have been able to do this with Neoberg and I'm just glad that it's still going. You know, we've still got stuff to do. We've still got things that we need to uh, improve. We need to keep an eye on this line in particular because it may well be that we need to put more um, vehicles on it. However, I'm hoping that after we've put the second uh, train on from last episode, that will uh, start to die down. But it's it's literally just too busy. Like, there's 200 people wanting to go to Coulsdon. Uh, Little Hampton and St Justin Penwith from um, West Ham alone and it's like the last one before Little Hampton even in Little Hampton look at this 356 people want to go up to Coulsdon that's how busy it is I wonder how busy this line is it's actually quite busy that's good to see okay maybe what we can do here is have them load full after 30 seconds they leave same here load full after 30 seconds they leave so hopefully that will ensure that they um, basically pick up people and don't just go on the road empty um, which they don't necessarily seem to be. This one is. <laughs> uh, this one's only got five people. So, yeah, we're not exactly making massive amounts of money from this particular route, but I reckon if we find the right amount of uh, vehicles on it, we may well do. Um, so that's something to uh, keep in mind, is that we might be able to make some money off of that, but it's not really what it's for. It's t in order to help the uh, two cities grow and just provide a bit of a faster link than going up on the train and back. But at the same time, I don't know, it might still be cheaper to go the other way. It's a frequency of three minutes, two minutes, 56, a rate of 108. Hmm, who knows? It's a shame with these you can't uh, with with these you can't do it so um, fill until another car or another um, bus comes. So say um, we've got a bus here waiting and it's at say it has to wait for a, a, a maximum stop time of uh, three minutes. Let's say it's a minute in and another one comes up behind it. If that was the case, I'd like it to be able to go anyway, so that the one behind it doesn't stop and um, cause issues behind it. These are quite long buses as well, so it means that if they have to wait, they take up a lot more space than if they don't. Um, yeah, these are, these are fairly busy, so it's something that we need to keep an eye on, but for now it should be fine. Um, there's only four buses on the actual line. This one's going before this one's arrived. Hopefully that's the case with most of them. Um, anyway, uh, on to this episode. So basically last time we finished uh, the Crossberg Express number two. And we also did a number of things around the map to hopefully address the overload for being very poor. Uh, it looks like we're still getting some very poor, but hopefully it should start to um, work its way through. So if we check the trains, we've got ones which are four months old. So they're literally brand new. They're just coming down now. They're going to slurp up a lot of that stuff, hopefully um, making a lot of use of the uh, space that they've got. Um, Oh, I swear there was a, um, a factory around here somewhere. I guess it's uh, disappeared in time, but that's absolutely fine. So with this episode, um, what I think we'll do is we'll carry on the uh, Riverside Rail Line. So we want to connect into Le Leighton, Loughton down here. Um, 
<clears throat> and that means that then we have uh, everything on the river, uh, barring Helsham and Southwold, connected up to this line, which will be quite nice. Or at least everything on... Well, actually, tell a lie. <laughs> I was going to say uh, everything on this side will be connected to that uh, line, but then West Ham and Winsford aren't. So ignore me. Um, I'm just really happy that we've hit 100 um, episodes. It's really good. And um, yeah, I, I really didn't expect to, to be playing this for so long. So I'm really enjoying it still. And um, as long as it is enjoyable and we've got stuff to do uh, we will be continuing it for some reason we can't upgrade this road I guess it just it's a bit too large for that area although it looks like it's fine what happens if we uh, redraw that really weird it's like only a certain spot will work but that's still connected yeah good that's that's good to know um so yeah we're basically going to be doing a line down here for the uh, passengers this will be a terminus uh station and um it'll be the last uh line on the track so to speak so we're going to put this one in down here it's literally just for Loton. Um, we might put in uh, airport. It really depends what we want to do going forward. Um, because if we have an airport, then hopefully we can do some faster routes from, say, this side to uh, this side or over here or whatever. Um, it really depends what we want to put in. But to be fair, um, an airport in the middle here where um, we've got so many big cities around it would probably I mean we'd have to be really careful with the missions but it could probably uh, be very popular that the, the only problem is it's on a very steep hill here so uh, if we quickly check this uh, it's gonna be pretty tricky to get it in without affecting anything else um, it's probably gonna be a case of we'll put it maybe somewhere out the way maybe even up here and then um, not have to worry about things oh I didn't know this this is new uh, let's try and connect into that because we've literally got oil right here being collected as well So if we put a road here, hopefully that will provide the best possible sort of connection for this. Right, does it reach? Not quite. Do we want to uh, go and get that? Probably. That's, um, that's quite a good little line there, so it may well be worthwhile going and getting it. Um, So if we just put a stop there. So what does this do? Does this do... Ah, it literally just unloads. No, it loads up there and then unloads here. So it wouldn't actually pick it up um, if we were to put this in. So if we just upgrade maybe these roads and then put in a quick, simple stop. Sorry, I do tend to uh, <laughs> notice things that need doing and then do them. So we need to make sure that that doesn't pick up off the train line. So we'll do it over here. Uh, let's just put in a building on this side because this one will probably have the road connected to it. And then if we do an exit on this side, that should increase the flow of traffic there. We want to 
keep it relatively flat as it connects in there. So we'll just remove that one. That makes sure that the trucks go to the uh, front of it. So if we just do a little line from here using number two as well and filling up. And then we can drop it off down here. It's a nice simple little line going backwards and forwards. Um, crude oil. Number something in Berg Le Marsh. So do we have any vehicles nearby? If we check our depots, uh, the road depots that is, let's just check for any tanker. We do have some. I don't think this is going to need that many. So what I'll do is I'll put I'll put six on. I think that's probably going to be too many. Um, but then once they're here and they've run a few times, we can check how many it really needs. That'll actually be really good because that'll be just straight up 400 straight in here. And to be honest with you, the percentages are probably quite low for the amount of um, stuff that's coming up at the moment because uh, those new trains are still rolling out, still trying to um, become effective and... Uh, pull through all the stuff that's waiting for example down here so this is no longer overflowing that's good uh, if we actually quickly check these other ones right that one's there okay yeah we've got trams we should have trams coming around to pick you up we've got three so <laughs> it should be picking people up um, up here we've got very poor overload let's put another train on that one how much is actually getting to where it needs to go 71% 12% 87% uh, yeah hopefully we'll be able to get more to where it needs to go there um, then again it's probably sending to a lot of different places so I digress um, we'll check back with that in a little while but for now what we need to do is connect up this station to this one down here and um, you know what we could do is do a train station on the other side and it come across and then we could oh I don't know what's happened here I don't know why it's not just been a bridge all the way through, but um, yeah, that's that's a thing. Uh, we could potentially go down, like literally by the riverside. Where is the um, yeah? That won't really affect the residential area. It might do here, but to be honest with you. The emissions down there are already somewhat busy. Hmm, tempting. So we either go this way, which is what I originally planned, and then go underneath the lake here. But to be fair, trying to get into a tunnel to go underneath the lake might be pretty tricky. So if we came down literally along the riverside which would look a lot nicer um, that might work better to be fair so if we take that out and then place it this way around and let's just provide it a little bit of space for that other one to grow ah it is a little bit uneven here so if we check the contour map yeah there's a bit of a hill here there isn't really one here though so we could probably do something on this side there we go 
and then we can probably do a much better road in. So if we take this road and run it up this, along the side of this, and then we should be able to take the nice line and connect it in there. We do have other roads and things which might be problematic, but I'm really hoping that we can just uh, get this get this through here. So we'll probably go be going along this way. So I'm just gonna try doing a line along here, keep it flat. And it's gonna be right next to the road. And then this might be a bit of an issue. This is very close to the water. <laughs> if there was any sort of uh, flooding, this line would just be problematic. Down here it might be a little bit troublesome because we've got the... We've got whatever this is meant to be. Um, Ah, uh, it's because we um, have the crossing, isn't it? Ah, uh, that's why. Well, could we take this bit out and then make that a bridge? Possibly. Uh, we want that to be the same type of bridge. Oh, it is the same type of bridge. Okay. I thought it was using a slightly different bridge. Okay, so it is now bridge. So hopefully the pillars will just get out of the way we can hope so if we just put that stop back in there we go so down here might be a little bit of a trouble some area um, to be honest with you it's such a small city Loton that I'm perfectly fine with putting a uh, level crossing in um, so that should add a little bit of character and it's where the um, the road literally crosses the uh, train line. So, right, if we put in the tracks between these areas, I'm hopeful that these will connect without any issue. and these should be the same width apart cool and then over here uh, it's a bit of a question mark as to what we do because we obviously have a tunnel already and we've got a couple of different roads here um, If we were to connect it straight up like that, it's going to want a tunnel here and also a level crossing. But that actually would work quite well because we can probably make the road conform to that. So if we take this part of the road out, and this part of the road, it's gonna be a little bit annoyed about the um, the line, the tram lines that we had there. And then these work, right? That's, yeah, that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. That, honestly, is a lot better than I thought it was going to be here, so. I'm very happy with that. So we'll then do a road into here 
a road into here and a road hopefully avoiding that hmm. I think that literally just needs to go a bit up yep boom a road avoiding that other tunnel and it's almost like it's meant to be so that's a good sign i'm going to take that as a good sign uh, a good omen so we have the line oh we don't actually have the line this side um <laughs> we almost have the line in as we need it so um let's do tracks out from here and they're gonna need to go Actually, if they go flat, that's that's relatively all right there. I mean, it's a lot of bridge. And that's... Mm, maybe we can work with that. I think the smooth tool might have its day to shine here. But I literally just want that to uh, bridge at this point. Like so. And then it could probably come down, to be fair. And connect in there. So let's see whether we can do the same thing back. We should be able to. Yep. So if we grab the smooth tool. I think that will fix this cliff problem. There we go. Same on this side. I mean, to be fair, we can probably go down at a uh, earlier point here. So we're going to be doing pretty much the same thing, but instead of keeping it flat all this way, although <laughs> uh, the small tool has uh, left some things, so we'll uh, remove those just quickly. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, I don't think this needs to go quite so high. So if we were to... Maybe go to that point. If we smooth this back out, hopefully it should look a little bit more normal. Um, so what happens if we literally just go from here straight through? That's actually not too bad. We've still got plenty of space for boats. Not that we're going to... Oops whoops <laughs> um, not that we're going to use boats at this point it's extremely fast uh, 100 and only really slowing down there 186 through here so what I think we'll do is we'll take that shape but we will probably Turn this into dirt here, just because it's a bit silly. Mm. Maybe go into the bridge a little bit earlier. That should be fine. There we go. So yeah, on this side especially like here where it it meets like the top of the hill we're going to go back to dirt but this ensures that we can use the shape and then we literally just need to drag this through and hopefully that's a bit more look at it's such a nice sweeping bend rather than uh, a much more obtuse sort of uh, connection. 
Is this going to work? No, I think that's a little bit too much. So we'll take it to like where it begins to have issues. There, 60, 75, 110. That should be fine, considering it's going into a into a station. It shouldn't really be doing that anyway. Um, but anyway, <coughs> we want to try and keep it as fast as possible so that the uh, lines work pretty well. So um, let's take these down. Do one on the bridge. I feel like if you were going to put in stops anywhere, it would be before the bridge, not on the bridge, but we'll go with on the bridge because it's just a game and um, nothing ever really goes wrong. There are no uh, natural disasters of like earthquakes or I don't know, tornadoes, that sort of thing in this particular game. City Skylines viewers know exactly what I'm talking about there. So, if we just continue these through, I want to do a few stops where the where it's quite slow speeds. So here it's going to be like ugh, 69. We could potentially have it go into the curve a little bit sooner, like maybe at this point. Um. That might help. Let's just see what would be possible if we did that. And if not, we can put things back the way they were. Probably shouldn't have removed everything and just removed the sections that I would need to be able to put in the line. But anyway, right, so. Connecting in down here, it would go into a tunnel again. It doesn't want to show me because it's trying to put a um, crossing here. So if we just remove these roads so that we can see. Because the roads are far easier to manipulate. Ooh, that's much better. So 99 mile an hour. 113, 97. Let's go with that. I know that we did like what we put in before, but this should be a fair bit better for the speed of the track. And that's that kind of matters a fair bit. So what we'll do is we'll continue this road here coming up, and we don't want to have any... Ujima flips, and then we'll just do a nice curve into there, maybe following the slope of the ro of the uh, ground nearby, and then here we just need to put in a one of these. In fact, if we take it a little bit further back, we might go in a little bit nicer. There we go. Keep to the ground that's there. Nice. Okay. Wow. That should be a lot faster now. I mean, it won't really affect that many trains because it's right after a... Um, right after a uh, station and before a station. But... I think it will make a few seconds difference and it may not sound like that much but in you know a route like this it does make a difference so what we really need to do is make Loton the first one so what I'm going to do here is add Loton and then add Ilkley and then I'm going to remove the first Ilkley. And then after Littlehampton, we're going to put Ilkley back in. 
and that extends the line down to here really nicely. So now we've got Loton as the first one. Uh, we probably want them, when they're going in, we want them to not have to use the crossing if they can. So we're going to put them in number one and then obviously number two is if there's already a train here, which it shouldn't really happen. It, it shouldn't be the case that it is, but it might happen. So we'll, we'll prepare for it. So now if we um, put in our tram lines for Loton, we're going to be doing... I might just put a road here just so that we can sort of plan it out a bit better. I want it to stay flat and uh, I might just upgrade this section as well so it looks it looks like it's sort of where someone would get off to go to uh, a tram line. So then we'll allow for a little bit of space just in case we need to put some extra stops in and then we'll do an entrance that side. In fact, we need to make it a, an electric tram track uh, ready. So we'll take that out there. We'll put in the road on this side. And then if we just upgrade this section of track so that it's got trams then it should be much faster and things probably will come out this way um, which is kind of what we want so if we then upgrade the route through to have trams as a possibility uh, what route are we going to take around Loton I think if we come up this way go through here and then come down here. That will be quite a nice little route round. So if we put in the stops, we'll want probably one on this section of road, one in this corner, so that if uh, it expands out this way, it will cover that uh, pretty well. Um, probably one up here. We'll put it on the uh, on the main road rather than the lower tier road. We will upgrade that, but right now we will leave it as it is. That's the wrong way around, isn't it? Huh. Whoopsie. <laughs> uh, and then we'll just put one down here, and then that should have a reasonable amount of overlap. Um. I don't know whether we want one that sort of covers the middle a little bit better. So that covers up to this corner. That covers this bit. That does not quite reach. Interesting. Um, okay. Yeah, so if we check, I think it's covering this bit. It's not covering this side. This one does not cover that side. This one does not cover that side. So there is stuff that is missing on that route. Um, if we just put one maybe here, it should cover that a bit better. Yeah. That covers that way better. Um, and maybe if we put one down here, it sort of mirrors it. But then again, we've got stops elsewhere. We'll keep an eye on it. I don't think it's necessarily needed. Um, so if we go around this line, uh, it's not using the turnaround. That's absolutely fine doesn't really matter. Um, it would just be nice if it did. So it's quite nice as well because it's keeping away from the road line that's here. So we've only got one road line for Loton. 
um, when in reality it might be better to have three at this point. Oh, no, that's the wrong line. Yeah, nothing's getting delivered here. But if we check our... Oh, I don't know why it's there in the first place. Because what does that cover? Like, really? It doesn't actually cover anything. But I guess if stuff builds out that way, it's there. So, you know. Um, it should be fine. Does it cover this? No, it doesn't. So we could build another one down here, actually. So if we go into that line, I don't really like that it's going straight through the commer the residential area. I think it might be time that we upgrade this, and ironically, we've given ourselves a bit of space, but not enough. <laughs> um, so that might be a tricky one. We might have to put something on this side or something. How busy are these? I'll leave that for another day. Um, I won't worry about it right now. So that just includes other stuff that isn't currently getting hit. And then hopefully we should receive more stuff via this train track. So if we put in trams with catenaries whoops trams with catenaries there we go sorry if you hear my belly <laughs> um and then we can just get a couple of these put one on line one one on line two and then we just need to grab the naming conventions. So if we go into here, copy, and then go into here, paste, we can call this one Loton. Ton? If I can spell L O U G H T O N. Yeah, that's correct. Cool. And then is this one the counterclockwise it is so we'll copy that and then just paste it on this one and change that one for clockwise because it's going round clockwise so that's what the CW stands for um, so those are set up we've got the line coming down here now so it's actually quite a distance for trains to travel um, similar to the distance from like Shildon to Tring. So it's a fair amount of track to be added onto that line. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh, do we have a train that's coming? That one's literally going the opposite direction. Does that mean that this one's coming through? It should do. Uh, so if we speed things up we might be able to watch it going through we might even pass the other train it's interesting this is similar to the dual stocks in that it's double tier look at that it's got two two levels on the train so the dual stocks has two levels on the train as well but it must just be a bit of a slower train that's why it's, yeah, it's only getting up to like 80 miles an hour. Whoop, whoop. There goes the other one. Uh, so yeah. I didn't really realise that the commuter train had two levels as well. How does that work in here? Oh, it's literally just sort of split, so one... One, uh stairway goes up and one stairway goes down. Huh. This guy is reading nothing. Either that or he's cradling like a football or something. Or maybe he's on fa FaceTime in the tunnel. 
It looks like he's reading a book. Let's go with reading a book. Anyway, <laughs> I digress. So uh, hopefully this will be, uh, is literally coming into Little Hampton now. So it will be able to drop off some of the 48 people that it's got on at the moment and pick up more people to go the other way towards Loton. It's annoying because there isn't really much more that we can do to see it get down to Loton faster. But I'm really anticipating some nice views after uh, Ilkley and uh, Swindon. This is going right next to the riverside. Yeah, this only really gets up to 80 miles an hour, which is kind of similar to a car or a bus. So, well, the buses go up to 56 actually. So it's a little bit. It is a fair bit faster than the bus than the buses. However, compared to like someone's personal vehicle, it may be a little bit slower. I don't know what the um, maximum speeds of cars in the game are. I would imagine 70 miles an hour or 60. It depends on the speed of the road, doesn't it? But I don't know whether they might set the maximum that it gets to. So this is the route, the new part of the track. We're rolling through that first tunnel to uh, get to the other side where the river side is. And this is literally what the uh, Riverside Rail was made for. Look at that. What a view. And then we're going to come up towards where the... Um, bridge goes over so we're going to go under the bridge any second now there we go and then we're going to go over the level crossing where the road is there was a deer <laughs> um. there we go and now we're going over the bridge on our way into Loton. So that's pretty much the route that they'll be taking from now on past uh, Ilkley and Swindon. There's Loton on the right there, or uh, on the left of the screen, rather. On the right of the train as it's going in is what I was thinking but <laughs> so there we go so we've let some people off it's going to take a little while for people to realize oh hang on a second we've got a route down to Loton now so um, I doubt that we're going to have too many passengers wanting to go specifically to Loton just yet yeah we've got one <laughs> one going to lower Loton however if we check Loton I would imagine we are starting to get some people look 19 20 people so um it's a case of they're still picking people up so these ones want to go to yeah they all want to go to upper loton really not many of them want to go around loton itself but that is a momentous um public transport connection because we've never been able to connect up Loton before and to be honest with you it's kind of been relatively um, left out compared to all the other cities um, so I'm really happy to see that Loton has a connection uh, it's quite a nice connection as well I really like the um, train going alongside this lake and the river and um, 
it's also quite high speed if we were to upgrade these trains which we might do in time because we're approaching maximum capacity of these trains as it is this one has 200 people to go to Littlehampton as it is so we need <laughs> we might as well actually upgrade those trains now I don't know why we wouldn't really when you look at how many people are traveling there so that should then really speed up the route so before it was about 10 minutes that should go down quite a bit because we'll be able to go higher speeds between the areas we've also got more capacity on these trains now so hopefully out of those uh, 200 people a decent amount of them will be on the train ready to go yep look it's full that's pretty cool so um, one last thing I'm gonna take out this connection here and then we can put in our stops on this side uh, where are the next stops there wow that's pretty far back surprised we didn't put some more in because if a trains coming in waiting to be going out then it's effectively wasting time so this trains now coming back through Getting up to 87, 88, almost 90 miles an hour. So it is going faster than those other commuter trains because they were just getting up to 80. So we're probably going to drop off everyone here. I would imagine not that many are going to go to Lowton, but they might do. But it'll be a massive boost for Lowton. Like, a huge amount of uh, growth should happen now for Lowton because it's his first uh, connection through. 50 people! That's a lot more than I was expecting, actually. How are these doing, sort of, picking up wise? So we've got. What? 170? Oh, sorry, clicked on the wrong thing. I thought we had 117 waiting for the tram. <laughs> I was, I was, I almost uh, got a little bit worried there. Um, so 43 hey. potential capacity, 26, 16. I mean, we could put more train, more trams on these, and then hopefully they should move a bit. Well, they should. Um, be a bit more higher frequency I mean have we increased the amount of um, so where is Swindon here 74% is going via that tram that's pretty good considering they're so close they've got really good links I'm quite happy with that to be fair um, what I may well do is continue this route through. Maybe even upgrade this section of road so that it connects through here. Let's. Uh... So I'm going to take this out in favour of putting a bit more of a direct route through. But we will be connecting it up here. So if I go into here, we want to keep any um, any trams, and then that will be coming in at this point. Can we just connect to that? Yes, good. So we'll come out straight like so. And then we'll do, in fact, that's a, 
a little bit over. Would we be able to just connect it straight in from there to there? That's not too bad. And it still goes over this tunnel. Uh, I'd quite like it to be more in line with the geometry though. But that's a much smoother route through. So hopefully it'll be faster for it. Let's put this back in and upgrade this road. There we go. That will become a very quick route through to Swindon and on to say what's where, what's <laughs> I almost called it what's ham rather than what's app. <laughs> West Ham. <laughs> oh, goodness. It's, <laughs> it's not been a long day. I can't even lean on that defence. Like, I don't know. That was just a slip. A Freudian slip of some sort. <laughs> I don't even really like WhatsApp that much. Um, anyway. <laughs> it can continue on to West Ham a little bit easier now. Uh, that being said, we don't have a road down here. So let's just put this one in. And maybe even a connection. What were we doing here? Like we have. Hmm. <laughs> Can we upgrade this now? No, we can't. Let's, um, now that the harbour's gone, let's put in a bit of a better connection there. I wonder whether we should possibly connect up here. Uh, what could we do? We could come out more straight here. And then that should allow us to effectively... ...come across. Just go straight out. So it's at that point that it goes over. I think it might just be a case of we need to put our own bridge across. Some reason bridge pillars are. Why is it trying to put a bridge pillar in the middle? There we go. What? <laughs> what is it doing? This is uh, definitely turning into a bit more than I thought it would be. No, j whatever. Use that bridge then, if it's going to be a massive issue. Um. So then we should be able to just connect in. Like so, I want that to be dirt. And then go underneath to connect in down here somewhere. So if we connect in there, connect in here, then that should be a much faster route through to West Ham, or what we'll affectionately call WhatsApp from now on, apparently. Um, <laughs> I can't believe that I... Um, said that by accident. Anyway, right, so this is all, all in now. Um, hopefully these trains are going to pick up a fair bit of speed on their way back through. So uh, watch this space. I think it's going to become 
138 people? You what? No way. 90 people? Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, pfft, that's a stupid amount of people. I'm guessing a lot of people went down wanting to get to the other stations down the down the route rather than um, getting on a, a different point or something. Um, but yeah, 138 people. Wow. That is very busy. There's 173 here to pick up. So how many people are going to get off here? About 30. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's that's going to get quite busy there, I think. So, we now have extended our uh, Riverside Rail Line down to Lowton. And I'm really happy with it. It's, it's a really nice little route down here. And um, hopefully, it will be quite effective going forward. Um so yeah i'm gonna leave it there what we might need to do is reduce down the amount of vehicles on here because at the moment it's using way too many so let's just send these back to the depot so how many has that gone down to now almost half Let's reduce it way down. I'd rather... Lotan be getting... Why are they getting no bricks? What's going on there? Why are they getting no bricks? Sorry, I will Where even do the Brits want to go? Here. That covers there, so why is it not? Hmm. 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 If we check bricks. Only so many are actually getting to where they need to go. Interesting. We we'll probably need to take a look at that at some point. But hopefully we should be able to um, improve that. I don't understand why it's not coming from here. Maybe just literally the amount of supplies so low it's literally sending none to Lowton it's right next door which is a bit sad really um, yeah why is it not getting all of that stone it should be coming through it might well be that from where... Oh, look at that. 17% is getting through from there. Hmm. Might need to improve this. Once autosave allows us, we'll put another train on this one. It's quite vital for stone, really. Um... And then we will put another train on this one, which I believe is quite busy. Actually, we have put a few vehicles on that one, so hopefully it should start to pull through. Looks like this has gone down. So yeah, watch this space is, uh, I think, what we'll need to do. I don't understand why it's so bad. It's 
it's pretty bad up here as well. This is pretty full. And then down here. That line. There's a little bit to pick up. Where's it going down to? Over here. Where again, it's got a fair amount to pick up. Maybe we just need more. Um, which is a bit daft. I'm going to put two more on. See whether that... I wish we could see um, how much stuff is actually coming through historically for each line. Like, we've got this, but that could be on any of the lines that it's coming through from. So, I don't know whether it's super busy there or not. It looks like maybe more stuff is coming through. But yeah, we need to keep an eye on that, I think. Because it looks like it's having trouble here. It's, it's right before this particular line. So it's probably just a case of everything that's coming through is full by that point. Um... That's what it seems like, at least. This one's very busy as well. So, with this one, 50% getting through from there. 50 50%, 50%, 91%, 96%, 49%. So, it's pretty consistently 50% for a lot of these. So, let's put another couple of trains on that one. Only 40% is coming through from there. This is a bit bigger of an issue than I realised. Because um, this is already really well built up. Uh, this line as well is pretty busy. Potentially upping the amount of trains on that line might help but yeah this one super busy I'm just going to up it to 10 we need to keep an eye on it but this is a lot of surplus money so I'm hoping that we'll be able to comfortably operate these um, I mean look at how much stuff this is literally full and it's it's not even Where is it going through to? Is it going through to here? Ah, no, it's going up to there. I see. Okay, yeah, we need to keep those moving. This line, on the other hand, not making as much money, but that's fine. It's more providing a service than specifically trying to make us cash. So yeah, we need to keep an eye on things. Hopefully the, um, the Nesborough lines will help. This is a bit of a bit of a problem. Um, I don't know what we can do to improve it. It's literally just a case of there's a fair amount of traffic right here for this particular train stop. It's not even going to help if we possibly put in like a flyover this way because that isn't where the problem is. The problem is the other side. Or at least it looks that way. So we just need to try and get them through faster. We could possibly put in another um, sort of set of 
tracks so that these ones don't have to use the same platforms as these ones. That could possibly help. Because literally they just have to wait until the trains go through. So we should probably put in what is actually using that line? This one is going down and going that way. This one is going down that way. Is it a case of uh, we just need more capacity through here? Would that help? If we put some more stops in, especially coming down to it. get down keep moving forward as well. This is kind of a problem. <coughs> so if we were to... It means that we have to take this bit out. This fits fine. So let's put the tracks back in. I'm worried though this might just move the problem to the other side of the tr the other side of the um, station. If we split it from here, it's probably the most efficient way to do it, unfortunately. There's not much better. So we need to remove that little stop that I just put in. Around here somewhere. It's like performing open heart surgery, this, but you've probably seen more with open heart surgery. Where the fudge? 
Where do we put the stop? Oh, this is a nightmare. Right, hang on. There. I literally can't. <laughs> what is up with this? There. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bingo. <laughs> Blimey, that was uh, harder than it should be, really. Right, so we're going to follow this up. Right, so that would come up to this point, and we would need stops going up to it, something like that, and then we can just go straight in here, hopefully that should be fine. Uh, we really should have uh, put in a bit of a better junction down here, and we might still have to, which is a bit nuts, but if we now... Possibly, let's just take what out what we've got Including this Take out the junction that's here And then put in a Train line connecting there And there Put in a crossing I have a sneaking suspicion the problem was the length of the um, station. So possibly putting this in might resolve that a little bit. Let's also... Put in a connection there, put in a connection here. Ah, that's not a double slip. Alright, let's see whether that does any better. Oh, we need to uh, put in connections here though. So if we put in a couple of those, put in this because we have a lot of cargo going through this area. Let's just do it from here onwards. And now if we make sure that the this line goes in here. Uh, so this is Nesbera 1. So it needs to go to number... Where is it currently? 4. Go to number 2. Nesbera 1. Go to number 1.
Why is it still having an issue? It can't come back. Why can't it come back? It's reporting that it can. Oh, is it this? And now, what was this line? That's, that line's fine. What line's having an issue? This train's having an issue. No electric path. Gondola. Nairsborough. This line's fine, isn't it? Yeah. No electric path. No electric path. I think these just need turning around. That should be fine once there's um free space truth be told if we split these out as well it might improve the rate at which trains leave here so that line's slowing down But hopefully we've got a lot more throughput here now. I think that's done the trick. Look at how much food is coming through now. Hopefully those uh, trucks can cope. some more vehicles on it. Yeah, it doesn't help how short these are. But hopefully that should improve how much gets through. Oh, hang on. Let's... Um, a stop here and here. And that shouldn't be one way. Yeah, trains are quite slow going through here, so we might have to address the elephant in the room, which is to put in a line through that avoids going through all that. But that's going to be a fair amount of um, trouble. Let's try turning that around. Ah, uh, no, it's going to be an issue, so get rid of it. This line. These could definitely do with being replaced. So, what have we used on other ones? I think it's the BRs. These are the series, aren't they? Take it down to mediocre. So that will increase the amount of capacity these have. Hopefully pulling through a lot of this. these could do with their own separate track as well but we won't we won't do that in this one um 
It should be a little bit easier to put that in though, at least. Hopefully the oil is going to start getting moved to where it needs to go. It's a lot of crude oil that it's moving. is Nesbara doing? It's growing. Having this connection has been really good for it. And how are these coping? 400 people want to go through. Wow, 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 wow. 400 again. Okay, um, yeah, I think we're going to have to <laughs> keep an eye on these. Um, what we'll do is when how many people here? 700 blimey hundred and ten there wow 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 that is um huge amounts of people. Let's uh, put in a thing down here and then we should be able to put in a connection here. So with this when the trains um, cross each other that should be about halfway and then we can put more trains on that track because then they should be spread out evenly I don't want them to be sort of one after the other I want them to be pretty spread out to make sure that they're um, just the best free, um, consistent frequency that they can be So we would want one here. So that's the Nairsboro one, the train depot, and then one here. So now when those, when these pass effectively or um, just before they're going to pass we'll put those trains onto the track and then they should be effectively really spread out across the entire line um, I think that's the best possible outcome we can we can have here because currently it's just too busy and it's a good thing. It's a really good thing having a busy line because it shows that it's it's needed. It's it's getting some use. Um, I don't think that Nairsborough or St Justin Penwith are the main um, sort of busy cities, but because they're on this line there would be a lot of people coming from those going to where they need to. So this is coming up to the level crossing up here. That's train 194. This is train 196. One nine six is coming into Coolsden which has almost eight well 800 people almost like a thousand people that are waiting um, this is just bananas busy I'm really hoping that the numbers don't fall off a cliff once we uh, put more lines in and what have you but you never know Right, so this one's leaving Tolor, where 
almost 400 people want to go towards West Ham. That's crazy. So this one's coming down to Littlehampton, where we have... Oh, 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 oh. This is quite a big station as well. We've got 700 people going one way, 300 going the other way. That's a lot of people. I am quite shocked how busy this is. So, if I'm correct, they should be crossing somewhere near between um, West Ham and Littlehampton here. I think that's where it traditionally happens. This line must be making a decent amount of money. a good 8 million on top of what it's costing us right okay so I won't do this when they're crossing I'll do it just before they cross paths because that way it allows those trains to get onto this line so I'm just gonna Reduce it down to one play speed so that I don't miss this opportunity. Let's put these trains on. And bearing in mind the speed that they go, I think I'll do it here. So we need... Where are we? Here. This train on to the... Ooh. This line, I may even hit play because there's a bit more of a distance between these two. This one onto this line, and we can even put in the non-one-way stops to allow trains to get to that point. But yeah, they are crossing paths now, like... <coughs> literally right now so are those trains in the station no they're really not but they're they're as close to it as they can be um this one's starting to move out and this one's starting to move out So once these have uh, passed their first stop, they'll probably be full for <laughs> quite a while. 700 people are here. That's crazy. How much extra space do we have? Oh, it's almost, it's, it's one off being full, actually. Um, can we improve Coulston's? capacity for passenger buildings if autosave didn't interrupt we would be able to so we're going to take away the smaller buildings that's kind of a bit of a shame that we can't put some of the bigger ones in but that's the uh, source base that we've got available to us. So let's just fill this space <laughs> with what we've got. And it's actually quite nice how it's um, off 
center. So we've got three here, three here, one here, one there, and then uh, six across the middle. So hopefully that should have a bit more capacity now. About 160. Down here. Oh, it's just so busy. <laughs> Um, so how much capacity extra do we have? 440 and we're at 453. So if we take out these two, maybe replace them with... Oh, these are much bigger. I don't know whether this will fit. It can if we just move the road a bit. So let's move the road a bit. Might even have to move this section here. Little Hampton is just a beast of a workhorse, isn't it? And then. <laughs> On the other side, can we put another one of these big buildings? No. We could put it there, but it might look a bit odd. Let's try just putting a bit of space on the other side. And then maybe some of these. Not intended to get out on the other side, but then down here we are going to need one of these with electric coming straight through like this. Take that bit out, put in a faster road here. And what we do here as well. Then we can remove the tram bit for that bit. Connect that in there. Good as new. And hopefully Little Hampton has a bit more capacity now. <laughs> Yeah, about <laughs> to the tune of 500. Uh, I think it was 440. Oh, we didn't connect in this bit, actually. Let's do something like that. Maybe we can change that out as well. Oh, that's actually a really bad road. Maybe we could have these be bus lanes? Not that it really makes much difference. How come it's not getting anyone from here? It's going to Coulston train station. Why is it going to Coulston train station? No, 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 that's correct. Sorry, Sorry. yep, that's right. <laughs> Why is it... There's people that were waiting. So the train just passed them by, from what I can see. I might be wrong. I might need to re re review the footage, but... <laughs> <laughs> they just pass by. Like, I can just imagine the driver like, Hello, I'm not stopping for you. <laughs> what is up with that? Um, so yeah, these trains are extremely busy. I'm hoping this will help. I wonder whether the other line is, like, this busy. So the one going through to... It's fairly busy down to Upper Shoulden and Winsford, and it probably will get busier once we put more things in down here. It's fairly busy. 
Oh, it's built here. Oh, darn. I'm sorry, we don't want this because we're probably going to put a, tra a train line here. Please stop. <laughs> we might as well just put a train line there, actually, while we're... <laughs> just to stop them from building here. So it'd be four lanes of traffic. One of them going in there. One of them coming back and going in there. don't know what we're going to do up here, but if we continue this out, hopefully there's enough space there for four lanes of traffic. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, not quite, so we'll do it on the other side. is very close to the water's edge. Um, it's another riverside rail. I'm hoping the speeds will be pretty decent as well because it's going fairly straight through here. Um, yeah, it goes down to about 100 and 1218, which is still really quite fast. Let's face it. Um, <laughs> okay, so these are coming into their first stations. Where are these other ones? These ones are going to pass them. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, so they're going to pass around here. And then these ones are going to pass at this station. So that's about quarter of the way through is uh, around about here. Right, so now almost all of the trains are full. <laughs> Look at this, 198, 198, 198, 70. And that's only because it's going towards Nesborough, really. That's silly, crazy, like busy. That really is. But we've effectively doubled the capacity on that line, so hopefully we can fill those trains going forward once we've gotten over the um, amount that is here already, the ones that backed up. So... We'll have to wait and see. Is there they're not very well spread out which is a bit of a pain potentially upping the number on these might do the trick so if we have them wait for say 45 seconds there might be a bit of a painful transition period where they're effectively waiting 
one after the other for each other, but that should help things flow a bit more. Right, this... I'm surprised this hasn't made money yet. Ah, oh, it has made 1.8 million. It's just literally... It's... Uh, it hasn't made... Th um, this amount. <clears throat> So yeah, no one was going to uh, West Ham, so we made 61,000, just crazy numbers. We got 400 people waiting to go through to Littlehampton. That's bananas. West Ham's growing. That's good. Hundred and twenty three people from here. How? Unless they got on before and didn't want to um, get off at Watch a jig. But yeah, these these are just crazy busy. Six hundred and that's just silly numbers. It's really remarkable how many passengers want to get from A to B. Looking forward to these new ones actually making money. Which I'm guessing is going to start happening soon. Because they've been carrying people pretty much full for a fair amount of time. So once they get to where they're going, we're going to make a lot of money because we're moving them pretty fast across the map. Once they've done one trip back and forth, one or two, they should be positive here rather than negative. As you can see with the other trains, it didn't start making money. Well, this one started making money straight away, actually. Um, some of these took up to three years to start making money and then some years they just about break even so it really depends what section of the track they're doing but more often than not they are making money which is pretty impressive for a public transport line I've got to admit I'm quite blown away at how reliably busy this line is and how reliably making money it is because that doesn't happen that often I must have just uh, really hit the, lo the lottery on this one so I'm guessing that yep Tolor has blown up with residents it's gone from about just under 400 to 700 in a year or two, in a few years. So where else does it really want to send people? It really wants to send people to Dover. That's fascinating. Dover, Coulston, Bawtry, Burglar Marsh. So if we continue the Winsford line up to Tolor, it will be doing really well here. 
and it might it might take some away from this line but it's still sending a lot of people through to Coolsden. that's pretty crazy numbers what about where's the least okay <laughs> the least number is uh, <laughs> to itself um, but even then only 52% are going to West Ham uh, using the line which is a bit bizarre because there isn't really that direct of a route to West Ham I, mean, I guess there's this road through here I think there is let's just double check that yeah got a route here which they must be using um, yeah that's pretty much the most direct route that's just crazy how busy that's gotten so where could we really make I mean Maplethorpe and Sutton would be a good one Ilkston okay yeah Ilkston Only sending so many to Southwold. So these must be travelling via. Car. To these places. It looks like more people are going to Lowton than uh, to like Helsham and Maplethorpe is, is that the case? surely not yeah <laughs> look at that more people are going to um, Lowton down here in the corner of the map rather than their neighbour Maplethorpe and Sutton that's bizarre that is really weird um, pretty cool but pretty weird. This is pretty busy. Let's take this down to the lower end of good. 320 capacity, 99 mile an hour speeds. That should hopefully move a bit more of that to where it needs to go over here we have a fair amount of stuff how much of this is stuff to go back up that way is that one point that is a lot of wood Yeah, we're still really busy with these numbers. Got 300 capacity to come through. There's only about 108 to take of that. And then it'll be full, so it won't be able to take people here to um, to go onwards to uh, Littlehampton. So that's why these are so busy. We've got so many... Tr um, cities that want to go to one another. So, Burglemarsh, 90% usage. Alford, 85% usage. Bawtry. So, the ones on this line, Coolsden, Littlehampton. Winsford isn't on that line, but we're going to connect up Winsford. So to be fair, it might go the other way to go to Burglemarsh because 
this particular line already goes to Burglamarsh through here. So it avoids Bawtry. That is pretty crazy. <laughs> Look at how busy this is. It's doubled its profits. So 39 million, 39.7 million, 25. So a difference of about 12 million, no, 14 million compared to like 5 million, maybe 7 million on a good day. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's just shocking to see it full so much and I'm really hoping that putting other train lines in doesn't affect it because if we're not making money off of this line stumping up the cost for 25 million I mean it's not that much in our how much we're making but at the same time it's it's a decent amount of money I didn't know we were still doing things on the water must be up this end. Yeah, this line. It's actually positive. It's making money. Even though we've got train lines there. Yeah, I'm pretty blown away at the performance of this line. really am so I'm gonna stop <laughs> gonna stop talking about it for a minute <laughs> um, with this line I'm actually quite shocked it's making money but it is so what are the boat lines do we have That's not boat line. It's literally just this one. So if we're making money here, why does it report that we're not? Ah, so we are making profit off of the tickets, but then the actual cost of maintenance so we could possibly make more money if we had one less here, but it's probably best to just remove it at this point. Maybe putting in a road line up to somewhere around here would be better than what we've got at the moment. We can make it more efficient that way. It's just crazy how busy these are. So if we dropped off oil up here, that should then get to these and possibly down here even pretty reliably. Uh, is there anything that's not connected by train? This. Is not connected by train so it won't be getting its fuel but do we have a rail line yeah we have rail lines which are bringing down fuel and those ones can as well probably will if they have the capacity there so we could probably get rid of this line if we replace it down here. I've, uh, <laughs> don't know if you've noticed, I have gotten a little bit distracted from what we were originally trying to do. But anyway, I mean, we achieved our goals, so. What I might do is do a road underneath here. 
for this. So if we do two on this side, put in cargo buildings and an exit, and then take out one of these. in there and then we can do an exit through here like so do a drop off up at this one Right, so now that will deliver crude. And then if we just check. Uh, for any tankers, put those onto this line. And we can call this. Cargo road crude oil. I think it's just crude, isn't it? Um, and what is this city down here? Southwold. So then we can get rid of this one. Sell these, get rid of that, get rid of the infrastructure. And then like that, we no longer have boats on the map, which is a bit of a shame. I do like boats, it's just, to a certain degree, they're not as cost effective as trains and things. So that should reduce overall costs. Um, hopefully we can make a profit off this line um, that will cover the infrastructure costs. We already pretty much have the roads up here, which is a nice change, <laughs> really. It means that we don't have to uh, worry about that side of things. How are these doing? Okay. A lot more transport. He's busy. And then down here, the train line's still very busy. But others should be getting busier. This is one problem with having so many go through the same 
track is, um, I mean, if we check our, uh, if we check lines, look, nothing's using the, the th pass through here, so it's not good. But this is pretty much at capacity for train lines at the moment. We could probably do with um, separating these a bit more. But that would be a lot of work to change that out. It really depends how busy the train lines are coming through here but hopefully this should be coming down so it's at 10.41 at the moment hopefully it'll come down with time this is using a decent amount of this I don't think we need quite so many trucks here so we'll keep an eye on that if it goes up to 400 hopefully we've got that additional overflow there so we're doing about 128 in 4 minutes we could potentially make more money if we just take it down with us So we'll have to wait and see as to <laughs> how busy this gets. It might be worth just keeping it here for all we know. Only 45% is making up here. 0% is getting here. That's interesting. So the Hailsham Horn circular line going the other way. This one probably needs another tanker. Who knows, we might need one going back as well. Really, only 32% making it over here. That's bad considering how close it is, but it's having to come down here, go across here, and then go down there. And to be fair, there's quite a lot of oil there waiting to go down. So it might be worth us upgrading this train. so that it can take that down to where it needs to go. And I would imagine this will need to expand. But hopefully that should do the trick. Because it looks like we've got a fair amount that needs to get down there. What was this one? This one's going back the other way, so 62% is getting to where it needs to go, 81% is getting to where it needs to go. Is it literally just getting stuck here? In which case do we want to put another train on these ones? Mm. 
difference is getting shorter. Which is not good. change one of these out to be BR those gondola lines are those gondola um, cars are quite small so it only goes to 215 miles uh, 215 meters even um, and then we might need to remove that other one off there see whether that helps. Right, so that should have a fair bit of oil. And then it should be bringing back fuel. This is full other than stone. Supplies are really bad for stone still. Is it all getting stuck here? It is still pretty busy there. literally just here it's got so many different things that it's picking up from mm. that's an expensive sword to have to j fall on I don't know why it's not emptied stuff. What can it send that to? Why hasn't it emptied? It really shouldn't be loading at this point. It really shouldn't be unloading here. Shouldn't be unloading there. It shouldn't be loading there. that right? I mean, we might have stuff come through from here, though. So on number six, it might be able to load. To be fair, we should really be going to that one after this one. So after number four, go here. So at number five, just unload. And then at number seven, just load. And then that way, when we go to this one, we should be, we should have full capacity to fill up. Again, why does it have seven Uh, 
seven coal. Only thing I can think of is if this one's been. Oh, this comes down here anyway. Okay, fudge that off. We do not need that line stopping there. Okay, that should work a bit more efficiently now, hopefully. Hopefully this should empty. There shouldn't be any reason for it to not be empty. Why aren't you empty? <laughs> ah, what is it doing? Why is it taking two stone and one... Make sure that they're spending their time to empty because we don't want them to not. So, this should ensure that this train empties. Although, what's it doing? Why is it just holding on to this? Oh, that's a different train. That's why. Oh. <laughs> This one's coming back now. Also, at number 10 and number 12, this really shouldn't be unloading. It should just be loading. Let's just make sure that it is only doing that. Is that a boxcar? You what? Boxcar for tow law. What? Where is it going? What is this line doing? Why is it coming down here? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> uh... Please make sure you're empty. Good. Empty. Full capacity. Able to pick up these. These are really busy. There's a decent amount of surplus capacity there as well. That's just bananas how busy that is. and speed things through a little bit. So we're coming into this stop. We're going to fill up to about 106. But we've got nothing else to take up say 20 with one coal or one ore or one grain <laughs> which is just annoying. Um, so it has, ooh, uh, a hundred and two hundred and twenty, two hundred and mm, two hundred and, why is this hard? Two hundred and ten capacity left. Hopefully it just fills up on stone. Just fill up on stone. 
make my day. It's mm. not done too badly. This one. Oh, that's just the train that's lost. I don't understand what this one's doing. It's trying to go to Nairsborough over here. I don't get it. <laughs> I really don't get it. Like, what's it doing? But anyway. This is the purple line. I think we're going to need another train there. It's super crazy busy, but there's a lot of... Uh, gondola producers through that section. This one gonna completely hero stone. It looks like it's got a fair bit of capacity. Let's hope that it's gonna pull through a lot of stone from here. This one's coming in and it's practically full. What? Why? Is it because this route's a little bit quicker than the other way? So everything's transferring onto here. That might be it. Which we really don't want. Let's find a gondola train coming this direction. Like this one. Let's just try and eyeball it, whether the numbers go way down when it gets past that section of track. It's taken a lot of what was there. Which is good. Then again, it might be dropping off coal and ore for the actual uh, steel mill there. These Euro duels are beasts. It's going over a hump there to go over that other tunnel, and yet it's still accelerating with so much capacity. Right. Let's keep an eye on that one terms of this stuff, but it looks like the other line has worked. Yeah, so it's dropping off a whole load of stuff and it's all going on here. I don't want to create a shortcut. That's not what we need here. But it does mean that these can then fill up. 
found the way when they've got ore and uh, coal to pick up. What we really need to do is hook up all these um, gondola like farms and different things around here so that we can actually make a decent amount off of that because this one would get quite busier if we had them all hooked in so we might try and do that next next time I'm not going to do that right now okay so it looks like it's using it as a bit of a shortcut so what can we do to increase the amount or capacity that this is pulling through because at the moment it's just not doing it. Look at all this stone and ore that needs to go the other direction. It's failing me. Which is a little bit of sad situation to be in. We could probably improve things here if we put in that separate line, which we'll probably have to do next time for uh, Ilkston. I think the numbers are going up, but only slightly. What we really need is like these ones to go through twice or something. So if we could do like a line back, <laughs> so it does it twice. Um, this isn't really making any money. Which is a bit of a shame because it's mostly because it's got to pick up that and come back. I don't think this one's ever going to make money as such. You really should be going. Possibly reduce this down. Let's try 10 seconds. Let's see if 10 seconds does the trick to get it to unload everything. <sighs> this is annoying because. Uh, We've got to wait for them to do the entire loop just to come back. I'm going to up that Nairsborough one because this is just stupidly busy. I'm going to add another three trains to it. And we're going to have to provide this with its own um, stop here so that it separates things out a bit more. some point one of these trains must get empty. So let's get rid of it when it is empty. And now, now that it's run for a little while, 
How is this line doing? It's still stupidly busy. I mean that in a positive way. I don't mean that as in stupid as in why is it busy? I mean that as in stupid as in it's it's pretty crazily busy. double these because I would imagine there is quite a few people waiting to get to where they need to go over here just as there is here and we want them to get to where they need to go so we want to add more tr trams on there how about West Ham not as much <laughs> Still a lot of people that want to go through to Little Hampton. They all want to go to mostly Little Hampton and Coolsden. And then down here, how's this train line doing? Not too bad. It's, you know, getting busier different intervals. These are quite busy actually. We should probably um, put another tram on down here, whoopsie, down here to keep these flowing. We don't want people waiting here. These are actually coping with about one tram either way which is pretty nuts these have grown a fair amount This line's actually quite busy now. Well, I say that. It's <laughs> not too busy, but... Wow, only one person going to... Really? Really? Let's spread these out a bit more. I'm waiting 60 seconds unless they fill up. I'm surprised there isn't a quicker way. Up to this from here. I'd have thought there'd be a much more direct route. Apparently there isn't. And Burger Marsh somewhat busy. That's very busy. I don't know why we don't have trams. A tram line could do that route if we just had a turnaround around at this point. I guess the question is whether they'd be much better. emissions electric 43 mile an hour so if we look at our tram route 43 mile an hour 43 capacity 
Yeah, it might be better to have, say, three trams run that route rather than how many trucks. Probably don't want it using this main road. There we go. That's interesting. Is it just because we can't go through this way that it's doing that? Yeah. And then at the end here, can we go to number two instead? Then we don't have to cross over each other. Let's see how that does. I'm hoping that the trams will do a bit better of a job. How's Alpha doing? It's growing. It's getting more of its stuff through, but... I wonder whether we could do better than this. We could probably, uh... one somewhere else. are going slightly down. That being said, these ones are still very busy. <laughs> I'm actually quite intrigued that these numbers are getting somewhat... are they getting busier? Yeah, they seem to be recently. It's probably because we have more routes coming into here. Definitely one one way for a lot of these. Okay. Um, we need more here. We want to get these people to where they need to go a lot quicker. I think Winsford has, yeah, exploded with uh, population boost. Hopefully that continues to be the case as things... Oh wow, we might actually need to expand the, uh, the routes here. Winsford's such an interesting little city where it's like nestled in a mountain range. too careful, I'm going to need to extend these so that <laughs> it doesn't build into them anymore. Um, yeah, hopefully we've done pretty well in getting our numbers to where they need to go. I think that's pretty much the case. And how's Loton doing? Loton... Oh wow. 
was actually quite busy. Even though we added another tram on down here. These are very busy. Well, ah, this is actually making quite a lot of money at certain times. Look at that, 149 people to go to Lo Loton. Bizarre, quite bizarre. Cool, well, I think I'm gonna leave this one here. Dare I look? Yeah, these are. Still being a bit of an issue, but not much we can do about that. Um, okay, that one is quite busy as well. So with this line, we should probably add more. Yeah, definitely more rum. Gondolas. How many gondolas do we have? Five. Let's add a couple more. Uh, but yeah, we have done a fair amount to, to try and perfect the lines that we've got going on. Um, this one's now pretty pretty damn busy. Let's This is a bit of overkill for what these lines do. But I want to make sure that we don't have any bottlenecks and we might have to just remove one of these down the line. But that should remove that lot. Get it down to where it needs to go. This needs more vehicles. Um, I said I was gonna wrap this one up and I'm not. Sorry. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, while we're here. Uh, I don't know how many we'll need. Let's just put them on. <laughs> That's 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 too many vehicles. Seventy seven is too many vehicles. Um, where are these? Shildon, Littlehampton, Tring, Littlehampton, Littlehampton. on there. I'm, if I click out, it's gonna... I think there was about... 16. So if I add that... 25. Boom. Nice round number. Hopefully that helps. Um, while we're waiting, we will put an extra space on. Yeah. I'm going to leave this one here. Um, we have done a fair amount to uh, try and improve things and uh, hopefully reduce bottlenecks. But I mean, this is just going up. This is just crazy busy. Um, crazy, crazy money um, that's going through here. And it's only going to get more when we have other routes potentially in because we'll be picking up from other cities like Maplethorpe, Knaresborough, uh, Southwold and uh, Helsham. So yeah, it's, it's really a case of we're just trying to perfect the lines that we've got to reduce this, like stuff just waiting um, which unfortunately in some cases just doesn't seem to be very feasible. We can't really reduce it down. Um, 
but things are going well. We're we're doing we're still positive with money, which is nice to see. Um, for some reason, we're still spending money on boats. Is that because we have? this all the other boats are gone so hopefully we'll um, start to see oh wow little Hampton's building out here little Hampton has flourished look at how busy little Hampton is Ay ay ay. Um <laughs> we're gonna have to do a line out this way. I did not anticipate this. That's pretty crazy. Um But I suppose it's a really good place for it because it's just getting all of its stuff through from here. Straight from the train station. <laughs> um Wow. Okay. <laughs> Didn't realise quite how busy <laughs> Lil Hampton had gotten. Um but it's a good thing. It's a good thing because it means that the, the city grows, makes more money, um, and potentially sends more people on its train station. <laughs> uh, not that they really need that right now. Um, but yeah, things things are going well. Um, Shielden do <laughs> Yep, Shielden's blown up. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's, it's going crazy with the numbers for public transport, so that's really positive. It's good to see what we're doing is making a meaningful effect on the uh, the groups of uh, people going around the cities. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, I think what I'm going to do is leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this uh, episode, and even if you didn't, let me know what you think with your thumbs. Um, if your thumbs simply don't cut it and you want to leave a comment then by all means please do um and until next time have a good cheers bye -bye. oh it's finally gone this through thank goodness bye bye